हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग टू यू ऑल इन टूडेज क्लास आई टीच यू वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग एंड मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट सी प्रोग्राम दैट इज टू फाइंड एरिया ऑफ ट्राइंगल बाय रीडिंग इट्स ब्रेथ एज वेल एज द हाइट बट दिस टाइम द गिवन क्वेश्चन इज डिफरेंट द गिवन क्वेश्चन इज डिजाइन एंड डेवलप ए सी प्रोग्राम नॉट राइट ए सी प्रोग्राम If the question is only write a C program, you can write only C program for that. But the question is different. The question is not uh, like write a C program. The question is design and develop a C program to find area of triangle by reading its breadth and height. Whenever uh, uh, the words like design and develop will come, then what you need to do, do you know? Don't write the source code directly. Don't write the program directly. Before writing program, you need to write the false code on paper, pseudo code. Before that, we need to draw flow chart. Before that, we need to write algorithm. That means first you need to write the algorithm. Next you need to draw flow chart. Next you need to write pseudo code. Next, lastly, you need to write the program. That program is called as source code. Oh ho, oh, very interesting. Now in today's class, I teach you what is an algorithm. what is flow chart what is pseudo code and already you know what is source code i explain very slowly but i request you to listen to me with concentration okay let us begin what is the question design and develop a c program to find area of triangle by reading its breadth and height first uh, we think on expected output that means we are developing on software we are developing on program whenever we run the program we get the message enter breadth as well as height of triangle machine is waiting for input i give inputs like 10 space 2 means 10 and 2 i press enter key then uh, b into h divided by 2 2 2 cancels 10 area of triangle is 10 oh very good uh, means to this uh, software or to the program we are giving two inputs like uh, 10 and 2 We are getting one output like ten. Okay, no problem. And somewhere we store the ten. To store the ten, I take one variable as breadth b. And to store the two as height, I take h. How to calculate the area of triangle? Already you know the formula. Area equals to breadth into height divided by two. We read uh, breadth and height. Once we read breadth and height, we calculate by applying the formula. breadth into height divided by 2 we show the contents of area this is what the logic no problem now we discuss why algorithm what is algorithm what is flow chart what is pseudo code that one i teach you to learn about these things we need to know about uh, software development life cycle very interesting topic what is today's topic software development life cycle in short you can call it as sdfc okay software development life cycle or uh, already subject name is uh, c programming for uh, problem solving why do we write programs or c programs to solve problem to solve uh, problems uh, how to solve problem uh, we write computer program We write uh, computer program. We write computer program, and already you know, set of uh, programs, set of programs uh, will make uh, software. Okay, no problem. Very interesting. To develop uh, software or to write program, first first what is the need? Can you tell me? To write the program or to develop software, first what is the requirement? Okay, very good. If you want to solve any problem, first there is a need of problem only. Oh ho, very interesting. If you want to develop any software, first for a company problems require to solve the problem, they develop softwares. Those problems we call as projects in companies. Understood? Infosys is having five projects in the, in their hand this year. Means they are having five problems, real time problems to solve those problems. Employees of Infosys they write programs. Oh, very interesting. means to solve any problem first there is a need of problem definition well defined problem once there is a problem we analyze it 
we analyze how to solve it how to solve we think we think many points like uh, uh, what are the inputs i need then uh, how shall i process which are the conditions uh, i need to follow okay and uh, which front end i have to use which back end i have to use we think on many points afterwards designing begins afterwards designing begins designing means what do you know there we write uh, algorithm we write all the steps in own language for everything start take input process show check repeat n number of steps we convert all those uh, steps into diagram that diagram is called as flow chart then uh, we write false code false code means pseudo code uh, means machine will not understand we write on paper then uh, what happens do you know then source code we write source code means we write program by using uh, uh, by using different programming languages by using uh, different uh, programming uh, languages like uh, you can use c language or you can use c++ or you can use uh, python you can use uh, c sharp you can use uh, .net okay you can use any language and convert into program then you have to test that program is giving us correct result or not by giving different set of inputs by giving different set of inputs purposely give some different invalid inputs and check whether that software is giving us appropriate messages for wrong inputs or no check it afterwards give to the customer afterwards give to the customer that means uh, software development uh, cycle includes how many steps there are uh, six steps are involved uh, to develop the software software development life cycle includes how many steps six steps which are those six steps can you tell me in computer programming lab in interview they ask do you know how to develop software what are the steps we follow what is the first thing we need sir to develop software first there is the need of problem sir that problem is called as project for that company oh very good next what do you do sir we think it how to solve it sir what are the inputs we need how to process uh, how to come to conclusion which back end server we need to store front end how we need to design then designing starts sir someone will write all the steps in language sir someone will draw the flow chart someone will write false code someone will write the program someone will test it sir then we give to the customer this is what happens in company sir oh excellent you are very clever we give the order for you you can join the company i hope everyone is understanding thank you now let us begin that's why the question is design and develop design and develop means first your duty is to write algorithm next convert into flow chart next convert into source pseudo code lastly write source code let us begin first i write algorithm and i will show you then how to write algorithm how to write algorithm first write the heading as algorithm once you write the heading as algorithm and then write step 1 if you want to solve any problem think positively yes i am going to start to solve the problem that's why first number first step is start next step okay i need how many inputs i need two inputs uh, i write like this read uh, two inputs read uh, two inputs like uh, breadth and uh, height of uh, a triangle that is uh, b and h read two inputs like breadth and height of a triangle that is b and h it's not compulsory that you need to write the same sentence you can write sentence in your own way one student writes like this uh, you may write in another way uh, one more student writes like this uh, read b and h simple but one more student write uh, read uh, breadth uh, and uh, height that is uh, b and h of a triangle always you write more appropriate so that evaluator can read and understand and uh, that evaluator can give you the marks okay read breadth and height of that is b and h of a triangle no problem i stick with it now next uh, step 3 uh, calculate calculate what area of triangle calculate uh, 
uh, area of triangle uh, by using following following uh, formula it is not composite that right like this only instead of calculate find area of triangle in your own way can write but uh, important is right formula area equals to uh, bh upon 2 this is mathematical expression if you write bh continuously we understand uh, we multiply but machine will not understand that's why you have to write compulsory star on paper you can write bh no problem but in writing program b into h is must okay b into h upon 2 giving semicolon is not compulsory here don't give semicolon because you are writing on paper okay then uh, we calculate it now next step is to show it one student writes uh, show area one more student writes uh, uh, print area one more student writes uh, display uh, in double quote uh, area of triangle is available in uh, area you can write in your own way I write simply um, or you can write instead of uh, writing like this you can write output area all are correct but uh, write the correct step shall I write uh, display area ok no problem last step is stop ok problem is solved this is what we call uh, algorithm I hope everyone has understood what is an algorithm can you tell me now uh, a procedure whichever we follow to solve the given problem in which all the steps are involved like input steps will be there like processing steps will be there sir and uh, showing steps will be there decision making steps will be there repetitive steps will be there in order to get the solution for the given question sir we write all steps in our own language English, Kanda, Hindi, Marathi any, any language you can write but all write, uh, write all steps that is what we call an algorithm I hope everyone has understood Oh, very very good next uh, you have to draw flow chart then uh, what is flow chart uh, what is flow chart do you know uh, diagrammatical diagrammatical uh, representation what is flow chart uh, flow chart is the diagrammatical uh, representation of uh, all steps or algorithm diagrammatical representation of algorithm is called flow chart then how to draw it uh, how to draw there is a question uh, we use predefined symbol we use already some uh, symbols are predefined by masters we use those symbols which are those symbols can you tell me now sir we use oval sir we use uh, uh, parallelogram sir we use uh, arrows sir we use a rectangle sir we use a diamond okay like this you can tell but uh, I will show you why we use all these things see this chart now you come to know okay if you want to draw any flow chart minimum these many symbols we use we need to have the knowledge of minimum these many symbols name of this symbol is oval or rounded rectangle it helps me to represent start of the program and end of the program symbol is this name uh, what is the what is the use of it and oval represents a start uh, or end point of a program oh very good how do you connect the symbols we use arrows sir right arrow left arrow uh, means up arrow down arrow upper arrow down arrow why we connect uh, a line is a connector that shows relationship between the different shapes whichever we use to draw flow chart then how do you represent input input b and h uh, print area input and output no to represent input and output we use parallelogram a parallelogram represents input or output of program then how do you represent processing steps a rectangle represents processing steps area equals to b into h upon 2 sum equals to a plus b sub equals to a minus b all calculation steps we write in rectangle sometimes we take decisions a is greater than b while n not equals to 0 uh, d not d greater than 0 d less than 0 d equivalent to 0 uh, such conditions we write in diamond or uh, rhombus decision making in forthcoming classes I take one example and I will show you no need to worry means to draw flow chart minimum we need to have the knowledge of uh, these many symbols I hope everyone has understood now uh, uh, how to draw flow chart to find uh, area of triangle by reading breadth and height ok already I have drawn for you I will show you see here uh, first start oval 
last stop vowel we write only word uh, don't write sentence start uh, end or instead of end you can write stop also then uh, we have to take two inputs no breadth and height uh, parallelogram parallelogram is for input as well as parallelogram is for output input b and h you can write b and h also or b comma h and uh, calculational steps means uh, rectangle area equals to b into h upon 2 you can write b h upon 2 also we are not giving to machine then uh, where is the result in area output area then stop this is what we call flowchart now whenever you write algorithm you scored one marks whenever you draw flowchart you scored one marks whenever you write pseudo code you get another marks now we discuss uh, what is pseudo code ok what is pseudo code in interview they are going to ask you what is pseudo code they ask uh, sir uh, uh, pseudo means false sir ok very good continue code means uh, all steps we write sir pseudo code means uh, false code sir machine will not understand we write uh, this code on paper sir on paper we write sir on paper we write ok no continue continue on paper we write uh, on paper we write sir we won't follow any rules sir to write C program we follow rules sir but to write pseudo code we won't follow any rules sir this is the mixture mixture or combination this is the mixture or combination of uh, English language uh, and uh, programming language sir oh you are intelligent what is pseudo code sir pseudo code is the combination of English language and programming language sir we won't give this one to machine no rules we follow sir can you write one example yes sir uh, Vikas Gupta says in this book begin means uh, pseudo code started end means uh, pseudo code completed not compulsory begin means uh, pseudo code started end means pseudo code completed instead of begin and end you can use start my pseudo code started stop my pseudo code completed both are correct ok begin and end I write ok as I explained in my class begin and uh, end you can write in small or capital no no rules at all we write on paper and define define you can write in capital or small means how many memories you need we need uh, uh, float type programming language breadth and h and area to solve this problem we need three memories of which type float type breadth height and area then uh, input we take no how many inputs we take can you tell me now oh intelligent we take it two inputs which type float type b and h oh very clever and uh, once you take input what do you do sir we do calculations sir. set uh, how do you do calculation area equals to uh, bh upon 2 you can write like this or you can write b and b into h upon 2 or you can write like this area left or you can write means we are assigning the result of uh, b into h upon 2 if you are reading different books author explains in different way but the knowledge is same ok we calculated the area next you have to print it no that's why we use the word output which one you print area oh very good this is what the pseudo code here uh, begin word uh, we used uh, to tell that my pseudo code uh, started my pseudo code started my pseudo code is completed define means how many memories we need how many inputs we take how do you calculate how do you show this is what uh, we call we call uh, what pseudo code understood all of you ok this pseudo code we give to whom this pseudo code we give to the person who learnt language programming language that person one person is there in company his name is programmer what he did he learnt he or she learnt all languages like uh, C or uh, C++ or Python or .NET or Java ok they learnt we give this code to that guy that guy converts into program now we are the programmer we write in C language ok now source code we write means uh, just only I taught you how to write algorithm one marks 
how to draw flow chart 1 marks pseudo code 1 3 marks you scored if you write program now i score remaining marks okay 2 marks for program then how to write the program already you know hash include we follow rules and regulations then only machine will understand then uh, why domain i hope everyone has seen my all, all videos please see the videos before watching it i taught explain i explained all everything very clearly in my previous videos then float how many memories we need breadth height and area how to clear the screen clr yes cr i told about all these things then what you have to do print the message how to print print f enter uh, breadth and uh, height of uh, triangle okay how to read it scan f percentage f percentage f and address of b m percent h address of h calculate the area area equals to breadth into height divided by 2 calculated print it print f slash n means cursor moves to next line area of triangle is percentage f double quote area we have shown the result on terminal wait get ch we are writing the code for turbo sleep if you are working with ubuntu no need to write clr ACR and get ch okay no problem i hope you understood very good now practical i run and i'll show you okay let us i complete the class in five minutes please wait i appreciate it you have patience i start the software your patience is appreciated you are very, really very intelligent that's why with patience you are watching the video keep it up you have very bright future I appreciate thank you I request you to send the feedbacks that encourage me to come with some more videos on which program you want the videos please if you send the message definitely I'll upload and I will explain to you I will explain to you okay thank you okay now uh, I started turbo C++ editor go for window menu R W close all file new R W window menu zoom maximize hash include std io dot h white means no return to no return means we are not returning any value to operating system because this program is executed by operating system a float type breadth height and area then we clear the screen then we print appropriate message like uh, enter uh, breadth and uh, height of uh, triangle uh, how to read we go for scan f percentage of percentage of address of b address of h then area equals to uh, breadth into height divided by 2 then show print f slash n area of uh, triangle is uh, percentage f that is available in area then wait get ch program is over save it file menu and save program number 11 uh, dots is must then run the program alt r compile errors one what is the error one extra flower bucket i have given sorry i run it enter the breadth and height of triangle 10 20 100 2 tens are 20 10 tens are 100 area of triangle is 100 but it is taking uh, six digits in fractional part i need only two then already i told you many times I, instead of writing uh, a percentage of four what i do i write point to f in fractional part i get only two digits 10 and 2 2 to cancel 10 is the area of triangle thank you today in today's class i taught very important topic named software development life cycle i taught you what is an algorithm what is flow chart what is pseudo code how to write program before that i taught you what is how the software is going to develop first there is a need of problem projects they think they come to engineering college they take the students according to their need then they assign the work in the company i hope today you learned many things okay be inspired learn if you have any doubts please send the message i am ready to help you thank you thank you one and all take care please send the feedbacks